Hi, everybody. Um, today, I wanted to go over with you how to insert um, an image into a Google Doc, um, because this is a way that you can turn in your work um, to your essential assignment that you're going to be beginning. Okay, so this is the essential assignment, which you will soon um, grab a hold of in the next uh, 30 minutes or so. So um, one way that you can do your all your work and your answers is you can type it. If you are going to type it, please make sure that you type exponents as exponents, fractions as fractions, use the pi symbol where pi goes, um, and also make sure that you label all of your answers correctly. That includes if it's an area, that it's units squared, and so on. If you need to understand how to do those types of things, um, please see the other videos that I've posted on the Google Classroom stream. Um, but if you wanted to do your work on paper um, and then insert it into your work into here, you can definitely do that. You just need to make sure that your work is broken up into parts like the question is. So the work for part A, I should only see that here. The work for part B should be here. I don't want all the work for A, B, and C in one spot because then it might be kind of hard for me to distinguish which one goes with which. So if you do take um, a picture of all of your work, let me show you what you can do. So I have already done some random math work on a piece of notebook paper. I uploaded the image to either your computer or to Google Classroom. And then you just say insert. Um, let me make sure my mouse is in the right place. Okay, so I'm gonna insert image. And here you can see you can upload from your computer. So if you downloaded something, um, that would work. Uh, if you have an iPhone and you have a Mac computer, you can airdrop pictures. Um, and then another way to do it is Google Drive. If it's in your drive, it'll show up over here. So here I have some random math images, right? Um, if you do it from your computer, it's going to come up something more like this where you, you know, are going to grab some sort of picture that you might have, right? Okay, so let's do it from Google Drive because it doesn't really matter where you grab it from. Either way, it's an image. So I'm just going to grab, I don't want this one. I just want this one. So I'm going to grab that one. And it'll say... There we go. Um, insert. So I'm going to insert it. And you see it goes in here and it goes really big. <laughs> um, and that's not what I want. And it's sideways. So we can definitely edit it. First of all, I'm going to make it smaller so I can actually see what's going on here. I'm going to make it even smaller. Oops, I don't know where it went. Up here. Okay, so there it is. You can still read it. Um, it's sideways. You can turn it like this. There it is. You can turn it. And now I have a bunch of um, random work. I know this work does not go with this problem, but imagine it did. I have some extra work here that goes with the uh, something else. And so I want to cut that from my picture. So if you right click and go to crop image, it'll bring these black um, little marks around the picture. So you can cut this image down to have just what you want on it. And I just want my my work. So when you see this little black arrow here, like this black arrow, one single black arrow, just move it to where you want it to stop, press enter. And now I've cut my image to just where I want it to be. I'm gonna crop it again, because I want these words out of here. Cropping it, enter. And there's the work for just that problem, if that problem was asking me to boil two binomials, okay? So that's a really good way to um, get your work into, um, from a picture on a piece of paper into the essential assignment that you will be given today. 
So I hope that helps. Um, if you have any more questions that you have about you know, getting your work into Google Classroom, let me know and I'll be happy to make more videos like this to help you out. These are great things to learn because you can always use them later on other assignments. I hope you have a good day and best of luck with your essential assignment.